أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Since uh, 2025 days I have not uploaded any uh, video It is blog actually It is blog and it is not blog Remember this is the important point Many of the videos which I have uploaded They are blogs but not vlogs because interactive sessions has been not been achieved yet the people are not interested the doctors are not interested the students are not interested the practicing physicians are not interested those who are giving these examinations they are not interested they rely on the library reading the books or relying on the google search engines whatever the way they are doing there is no objection but there is no alternative of experience in the world remember this and this is actually the case discussions and the topical topics discussions have been going on for the infection and the disease infectiology which comprises about 40 to 45% of the total internal medicine if you cannot understand it properly you cannot go for the correct pathway of diagnosis this is my vision and i think most of the internists of the world they have the same type of experiences although they are this is a dry subject this is a boring subject very dry but it is it can become wet if you can if you will you will try to learn it because the case discussion is associated with this after now i have done i think 40 to 45 bacteria gram positive bacteria and gram negative bacteria if i complete a whole list of the microbiology that is infection and the disease i think i will go for the i think 90 90 lectures will be prepared from the 90 lectures i will make the mcqs and challenge you to do it from the 90 if you can achieve the goal of 75% it means you are able to pass this examination whatever you want to get this is the only thing which i can say i am professor dr leeda i am honorary global professor of medicine without any name or fame or economics so what are the kids have you heard of it the kid z why it is important why it is important to your country what what is z importance of the kid z infection in your country this is the first question now the kid z infections are important in this country because it is a zoonotic disease it is spread by the flying vectors from the animals to the humans it occurs in the closed environment like open houses old old houses old means genetic houses camps these are the places where the disease is found at the time when the migrate migration occur from the afghanistan to the central part of the khyber pakhtunkhwa and this disease was diagnosed very late by the who team not by your physician by by the who team which was sent what is happening actually because 80% of the camped persons they are they have involved fever and rash they said it is a viral type of infection 
when they reached this place, they said that no, this is the kid is young, it is the kid is ill infection. The most, you know, whatever, whatever it is, the impression given by your physicians to the WHO team was very bad. Because they don't know what is the kid is ill infection actually. It is possible in Pakistan, yes, it is possible because the borders are very close to the China, to the Russia, very close. And because it is a zoonotic disease, it is spread from the animals, mammals, via vectors to the humans. It is a gram-negative bacteria. It is a bacterial infection, it is not viral infection. is a genus of the non motile gram-negative, non small forming highly pleomorphic. What is pleomorphic? Answer this thing. Pleomorphic bacteria and what is called mutatic, mutatic bacteria. If anybody dare to answer, they can answer in my channel or WhatsApp which I made it a group channel that is called Mip Me. Answer this. What is pneumopic bacteria and what is mutated type of bacteria? That may occur in the forms of the cocci, actually. Point one, all basal, so cocoa, all basal, both one to four micrometer long. In some part of the slide there are coca, in some part of the slide there are basil, and some part it is coco basilis, or they can occur in the threads, even up to about 10 micrometers long. That is why the, the rickettsia is described in this fashion, because the previously, for example, let's say the basilis anthrax, it will not it is not a pneumorphic bacteria. Like enteric fever, it is not a pneumorphic bacteria. The term of the Kirtia has nothing to do with the records. First of all, this is a very important point, which is a deficiency disease because of the vitamin D. The bacterial genus Rickettsia instead was named after the Howard Taylor Ricketts. Ricketts. No, Ricketts. And Ricketts, his name was Ricketts, and he's a microbiologist, and the honor of the pining was on the tick bone spotted fever. He was given Nobel Prize for this, because he has found one genus which is killing in the different part of the continents. That is why he was honored with the Nobel Prize after five years of his dis dis uh, discovery. You see, this is the cell inside it is the cocci, basilai, threads, all are present in one place. You will not see this type of a slide in any other time of the genus, bacterial genus. Global incidence. January 1900, January 1, 1906 to March 31, 2020, 2021. It is a long, long run. WHO found reports of 48 confirmed cases of species with 66,133 human infections worldwide. Species are 48. There, there is the recursive species. And infected humans are 66,133. The large spatial variation across the continents. Different type of species are seen in the different zones. 198 vector species were detected for the carriers. 198 vector species. 47 of these because the species were very important. From all of the, if you, if you want to learn all of them, you cannot remember. 
remember this is difficult because human uh, power of uh, memory is not so much to remember all these species. What we are saying is that the rikitsiya of the human importance. There is a prevalence in Pakistan, the overall prevalence per minimum infection rate, MIR that is called, the rikitsiya TN in the tick species and in the collecting localities. Almaty and these are the regions which are very near to Pakistan. They are, they are the regions of Kargistan. Uh, Kargistan is border is very near to the Afghan border as well as Pakistan. It's a part of the Soviet unit at one time. It was 42.3 percent, very high rate. At this, in, the, in these areas, and Mati and the Zaroda regions. And these are the parts, okay, the Afghan people are of different, you know, races. They are very near to the Russia, they are very near to the Czechoslovakians, they speak Czechoslovakian, they, they can speak Kazakhstan language, they can speak Turkish language, they can speak the Persian language, they can speak Pashto language, Persian, Pashto, different type of uh, tribes are there. That is why Afghanistan is actually a constellation of different type of the tribal areas. If they are satisfied, the old tribes are satisfied, there is definitely, you say that if there is what is called you can aman in that area, otherwise they will fight with each other. And they are the most strongest person in the world. Even the world powers have declared that they cannot win the Afghanistan. Well, they are very powerful, they are very active, although very common diseases are not present in, the, in these areas. And hardly any coronavirus is found in Afghanistan, hardly. Why? Because their immune system is very strong, they eat accordingly, they work accordingly, their physical activity is very high. They are climbing the, 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 the great mountains in these areas. The weather is very good in these areas. There is almost about eight months, ten months, there is a winter type of a, a season. Otherwise, only summer means that hardly it is 16 to 17 degrees centigrade, mean temperature in summer. The reservoir of infection of rickettsia species are transmitted by the numerous types of orthopods vectors, including the chigger, ticks, fleas and lice. Now, there are four important, although there are other vectors as well, and are associated with both human and the plant diseases. Most notably, to, the disease can be transmitted from the plant kingdom to the animal kingdom, it means that. Now, the species are pathogens responsible for typhus fever, Rickettsia pox, botanical fever, African tick bite fever, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, Flanders Island spotted fever, and Queensland tick typhus, Australian tick fever. <coughs> because research has not been done in these camps of Afghanistan, in the southern Pakhtunkhwa, they don't know exactly. Otherwise, we can say that it, it is, for example, the Peshawar tick typhus, for example, or Mansara tick typhus, because they need the temperature to survive, remember. That is why in the air camps in Karachi, they get zia, they are not found. That is the reason. They need actually exactly the temperature should be, it is between 14 to 16 degrees centigrade to survive. Because the temperature in Karachi is mean temperature is 35, 35, 34. They can't survive. Now this, remember this. Chigars. Chigars are very near to the Peer Bhoti, Ujwati, Jawapur, Nazar. 
बारिश होती है इसमें नजर आती है लेकिन ये वो वाली नहीं है ये जिगर ये प्लान किंगडम पे भी चिपकी हुई होती है ये एनिमल्स के ऊपर भी होती है और इसके जो होते हैं फैंक्स भी होते हैं ये बाइट करती है ये जो बीर बोटी आप पकड़ते हैं उसके अंदर जो होता है वो फैंक्स वगैरह नहीं होते ये इसकी ही नस्ल है मखमल है बिल्कुल जस्ट लाइक दिस सिल्क लाइक दिस चिगर्स and then go for the other ones and there ticks and this is the ticks tick is a, they are chichli which is found in the plants in punjab and in sind they bite the persons so they transmitted from the plants to the human and the reaction occur around it so it means chigers ticks are present yes and this is a flea the flies they have oh, they are the move very fast very quickly from the animals here to the humans it bites flies and then the hard lies or lies uh, it is very near to what we call as the katmal okay it is very near to it but not exactly katmal is concerned but it is it is species very near to the katmal the lies is present in the children it is common one you may वो कहते हैं ना जुए अगर सर में पड़ गई हैं किसी के या गर्दन में हुई हैं तो ठीक है पता नहीं कितने लोग बड़े बड़े बाल रखते हैं और फिर उनके जुए पड़ जाती हैं अगर फर्श करें इन्फेक्टेड अगर लाइज है द बाइटेड चिल्ड्रन देन द रिकेज या इन्फेक्शन कैन बी पॉसिबल वो मैंने कहा था आपको पहले भी दैट थिंग इज दिस एक्चुअली द नीड इन्वायरमेंटल सर्वाइवल दैट इज इम्पोर्टेंट दैट इज वाइट इज लाइज आर प्रजेंट इन इन कराची And lot of children have got this problem. Lice, head lice, body lice, etc. But they are not infected. That is why you don't have the rickety fever in Karachi. Important rickety infection in the human interest are the rocky spotted mountain fever, typhus fever, and scrub typhus fever. Actually, I do think it is a group of fevers which are called the typhus group of fevers. Just like this, you can remember in this session, typhus group of fevers. What is important to us is the typhus fever in this group, Rocky Mountain, uh, Mountain Spotted Fever, and Scrub type of typhus. Remember, the Q fever is not a rickety infection, and that was a blunder done by the our uh, companions and friends when they are attempting FCPS examination. Curie fever is not rickety fever. It is the genus is different. At one time it was classified under this heading, and now it is not classified under this heading. Now, as per some some of the discussion is now going for the rocky mountain spotted fever. The bacterial disease is spread by ticks. I just said that the ticks they are present on the animals. भी कुर्बानी हुई है इसके अंदर जो है बहुत सारी टिक्स थी जानवर खुजाते रहते हैं आपको मालूम है और अगर वो इन्फेक्टेड हो जाए बाई रिकेट जी या रिकेट जी तो फिर टाइफल फीवर हो जाएगा एंड देन पैंडी स्पेड टू द अमेरिकन डॉग टिक्स है रॉकी माउंटेन वॉट टिक्स है ना ब्राउन डॉग टिक्स है और रिकेट जी या रिकेट जाए अगर करेगा तो रॉकी माउंटेन स्पॉट फीवर करेगा तो अगर देखेगा कि जीनिस इसका स्पीसी चेंज हो जाएगी तो वस्का ही करेगा तो वो करेगा दूसरा करेगा तो फिर वो करेगा मगर इम्पोर्टेंट बात यह है कि रॉकी माउंटेड स्पॉटेड फीवर देखा है मैंने तो हमारे एरिया में ये नहीं है लेकिन जो लोग एग्जामिनेशन दे रहे हैं फॉरन एग्जामिनेशन उनमें तो ये बात पूछी जाएगी उन्हें तो नहीं पता कि आप जो हैं वो कहाँ के रहने वाले दे डोंट वॉन्ट दे वॉन्ट दैट यू शुड नो वट इज रॉकी माउंटेड स्पॉटेड फीवर Now clinical features. Spotted fever can be very difficult to diagnose in early stages. 
due to the similarity of the symptoms with many different diseases, people infected with the rickettsia or rickettsii usually notice symptoms falling in incubation period of two weeks after the bite. The earlier presentation of rocky mountain spotted fever is non-specific and may resemble a variety of other infections and non infected diseases. In the early phases, you can't differentiate. The initial symptoms like fever, nausea, emesis, vomiting, that is severe headache, muscle pain, mouth and malaise. The little sign and symptoms, and this is important, the maculopapular rash, petechial rash, abdominal pain, that is important. And the joint pain, reactive arthritis, and conjunctivitis, and the amnesia. The classical trial of the findings of the disease are the fever, rash, and the history of the tick bite. This is the trial. However, this combination is often not identified when the patients initially present for the care. The rash is has a centripetal, means it is present on the face, on the trunk, or inward pattern of spread, meaning it begins at the extremities and goes towards the trunk. A centrifugal, that is. It is centripetal, basically. This is the type of the rash. On the, on the, look on the neck, on the thorax, on the limbs, on the, on the shoulders. Very, very, you know, seen this in maculopapular type of rashes. With erythema present, itching is present, and fever, patient has got a continuous type of fever. And this is a very important slide that is summary specialty infectious diseases. About the Kidzia is concerned, the mountain spotted fever. If you summarize it, symptoms are the fever, headache, rash. Complications, usually usual onset. 14 days after infection is the incubation period and duration of this is two weeks afterwards you will find these symptoms. The causes are the rickettsia rickettsii spread by the ticks and diagnostic method based on the symptoms and the other people who are infected very nearby. So it is sub endemic type of a nature of the disease. It give clue to do, go for the differential diagnosis and diagnostic method. Diagnostic method is PCR. PCR is the methodology which we are using the DNA probe techniques. And the other techniques which we are using are the, what is known as the ELISA. If it is available. If it is available. Differential diagnosis may be for Zika fever, which is spread by the mosquito, dengue by the mosquito, chicken gunia by the mosquito, Rickettsia, Parkeri, Rickettsiosis, Pacific Coast, Tech, Fever, Rickettsial Pox. At that time, the research at, uh, can be done at 19, in 1978 to 1988. If it was done, then we are proud that we say that it is the Peshawar, Peshawar Tick Fever in the camps. Specifically, treatment is tetracycline. Now look, tetracycline are not uh, not outdated medicines. The drug of choice. Prognosis is 0.5% only. Risk of the death because of the rickettsiemia and because of the, the cysts and because of the septicemic shock or rickettsial shock. Frequency is less than 5,000 cases per year in United States. ये आपका जो सब सबका बच्चा बैठा हुआ है वो यूएस है वहाँ भी रिसर्च की जाती है आपके यहाँ तो रिसर्च मेथोडोलॉजी नहीं है फिर आप कोई तरीका ये कारी नहीं है आपको तो पता ही नहीं है कि क्या हुआ था वो तो ले गए अपने वहाँ पेपर राइटिंग भी कर दी हूँ उस टाइम इन्वेस्टिगेशंस वाज एक इसमें ये क्वेश्चन now it has been replaced with a new serological technique, although it is weed Felix reaction, it is a agglutination test, just like with all tests. The weed Felix test continues to withhold the general part, it depends on the teacher, 
one is to forty, one is to sixty, one is to eighty, rising teacher. And nowadays they were using ELISA, IGM, IGT. And more specific, we do for the PCR, such as indirect immunofluorescence in antibody assay, are the most commonly available test method for the detection of diseases. And the direct um, uh, evidence is uh, very difficult to demonstrate. So this is one of the toughest group of fever which I have just said. The rocky mounted spotted fever. Second fever is typhus fever. It's a group of infected diseases, including the including the rocky mounted spotted fever, epidemic typhus, scab typhus, urine typhus. Common symptoms include fever, headache, and a rash. Same, same one. Typically, these begin one to two weeks after exposure. Mean the incubation period are the same. The method of infection, or the specific of bacterial infection, specifically the epidemic typhus is caused by the Rickettsia provasgai, spread by the body lice. ये वो हैं जो मैंने आपसे बताई हैं. Body lice, जो humans से वो infect करती हैं animals से. Lice. Scrub typhus is caused by the Orienta Sutsugmoshai. ये चिकट से होती हैं. वो जो मैंने आपको red color की चीज दिखाई थी. And Muran typhus is caused by the Rickettsia typhi. And it is spread by the players. अगर lice तो आपके हैं, तो typhus से भी possible हो सकता था. मगर उसको problem ये है कि उस नहीं है एनवायरमेंट नहीं है सूट करता चिकर्स भी होते हैं यहाँ वो कर सकते थे वो चिकर्स जो थे वो इतना फॉर्मल नहीं पंजाब में है और सिंध में है मौजूद हैं मगर वो करते नहीं हैं इसलिए कि वो इन्फेक्टेड नहीं होते हैं बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ द एनवायरमेंट द नीड टू डेवलप दिस टाइप ऑफ़ इन्फेक्शन इन जो मैंने आपको बताया है, ये वो चीज़ है जो उड़ के जानवर से उड़ती है हवा में आपको नजर भी आती है, फिर आपको डंग मारती है। ये बहुत करीब है, मैंने पहले बताया खटमल के, उसको आप देखेंगे तो बिल्कुल वैसी मिलेगा आपको, जो कि खटमल होता है, सेम। क्लासिफिकेशन इनको उन्होंने कर दी है, वो पहले बताया स्पॉटेड फीवर बता रही है कि जो माउंटेन स्पॉटेड फीवर्स ये टिक से फैलता है स्क्रब टाइपर्स जो है उसका जो ऑर्गेनिज्म है वो ऑरिएंट का सुर्ती मोशा है ये रोडेंस टू ह्यूमन माइट्स जो हैं ये चीचनियां टाइप जो ये एनिमल के वो चिंटी भी होते हैं और वो खुजारे होते हैं वहाँ से लगता है ये रिकेट्स ये टाइफाइ हैं, ये फ्लीस ऑन रैट, रैट के जो फ्लियर से ये उनके ऊपर चिमटा होता है, वो ये यूज़ कर सकता है। न्यूरॉन टाइफाइ के लिए जो फ्लियर्स हैं, उसके साथ रैट्स का होना ज़रूरी है। अब ये मुझे बता दें कि फ्लियर्स ऑन रैट्स एक और डिसीज़ भी यूज़ करता है। वो कौन सी शेयर कर दीजिएगा। फिर एपिडेमिक लाउंस बोन टाइफस है, बॉडी लाइस। उसके अंदर ना रिकेज़ या प्रोस का है। ये टाइफस ही वो कॉस करता है एपिडेमिक। एपिडेमिक टाइफस ही वो। ये बॉडी लाउंस ज़्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट है, बिकॉज़ उसकी स्किन भी कोटी है। अगर इन्फेक्टेड है मतलब इन्फेक्टेड लाइस मैं प्रॉब्लम ये है वो इन्वायरमेंटल एक्सपोज़र नहीं है ये रह नहीं सकते रिकेट या आपको इन्वायरमेंट चाहिए उसको कल्चर होने के लिए क्लिनिकल फीचर इन तमाम का जो है ना एक साथ अगर आप देखें तो वही है पुराने वाली बात जैसे कि हमने एक रॉकी स्पॉटेड माउंटेन फीवर को बनाया था फीवर Centripetal to centrifugal. This rash eventually spread to the most of the body, sparing the face, 
first and palms and soles. Science of the meningeal cavity, this is important. Begin with the rash and continue into the second and third week. This is what you need to save it. Otherwise, the brain will be destroyed. Other signs of the meningeal cavity include the sensitivity of light, photophobia, इसके अलावा प्रेशर इसका इंक्रीज हो जाएगा जाहिर पेपलेडीमा होगा ऑल्टर्ड मेंटल स्टेटस डिलीरियम इमनेजिया और कोमा यानी आपका जो ग्लासगा कोमा स्केल बोर्ड डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर में आ जाएगा अनट्रीटेड केसेस ऑफ टन फेटल पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट मोटालिटी रेट है इन तमाम चीज़ों में ना इनमें इसमें अलग नहीं कर सकते अभी कहीं स्क्रब है या म्यूराइन है फलाएँ इसको छोड़ें सब में यही चीज़ आपको नजर आएगी यही वो रैश है मैकेलो पेपलर रैश है एरिथमेटिस मैकेलो पेपलर रैश सोल्स में नहीं होता सीवियर इन्फेक्शन अगर हो तो होता है वरना ये उमन जो है सेंट्री पिटल होता है ट्रंक के ऊपर होता है फिर ये बढ़ता है लिम्स में मैनेजमेंट इसकी ये है कि असल में बात यह है कि इसके लिए ड्रग्स जो है वैसे तो दी जा सकती हैं और न्यू ड्रग्स आर इन्वेंटेड स्टिल डॉक्टर साहब भी इसके में इन फुल डोजेज हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम बी डी स्टार्टिंग डोजेज की इंजेक्टेबल भी आती है ये लेकिन अगर बिल्कुल ही इरीडिकेट करना चाहते हैं या आप समझते हैं कि ये एस आई आर एस हो गया इसको अब ये एम ओ डी एस वगैरह में जाएगा पेशेंट तो उस सूरत में इसको एड करें आप इंजेक्टेबल क्लोरम फिनिकॉल के साथ डॉक्टर साहब ने साइकिल में इंटरवेनस होती है और क्लोरम फिनिकॉल में इंटरवेनस होता है डॉक्टर साहब ने इनको आप ओ डी दे सकते हैं टू हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम और क्लोरन फिनिकॉल की जो डोज है वो 500 मिलीग्राम है एट लीस्ट टू वन ग्राम शुड बी गिवेन बिकॉज इज अ शॉर्ट एक्टिंग ड्रग एट आवर लेकिन ये वो ड्रग है जो कि अभी इस्तेमाल बहुत कम होती है एक ज़माने में बहुत ज़्यादा इस्तेमाल होती थी और उस वजह से ये थी कि वट इज़ द रीज़न इसको क्यों इस्तेमाल नहीं करते वो इसलिए इस्तेमाल नहीं करते थे कि वो डर जाते थे बोन मेरे सप्रेशन से अकॉर्डिंग टू प्रोफेसर गफार बिल्लू देर आर हार्डली पॉइंट वन टू पॉइंट फोर परसेंट इनफैक्ट वो हुए हैं लोग जिनको बोन एप्लेजिया हो गया है या मैरो एप्लेजिया हो गया है लेकिन वो बहुत कम तादाद है आप किसी की जान बचाना चाह रहे हैं तो अगर आपको डॉक्टर साइकिल इनको प्रॉब्लम फिर को एड करनी होगी अगर इतना आपको समझ में आ जाए तो फिर प्रिवेंशन ये तो आप जाहिर अपने जो एरियाज हैं जहाँ पर ये आपने सब सब इंडमिक कहा था वहाँ पे आप हाइजीन का ख्याल करें वहाँ एनिमल्स को अलग कर दें और वहाँ पे एनिमल्स को ट्रीट करें सबसे तो पहले तो एनिमल्स उनको वो स्प्रे करें उनको ड्रग्स दें ताकि वो इन्फेक्ट नहीं कर सके पहली बात ये अहम बात है और कैम्प से अगर हैं तो उसके लिए कैम्प मैनेजर होना चाहिए फिर हेल्थ ऑफिसर होना चाहिए और सारी चीज़ें होनी चाहिए अगर ये डेवलप हो गई तो फिर क्या होना चाहिए कि पूरा वो फुली जो है ना उसका ड्रेस आता है तो ताकि वो आपकी जो टीम है हेल्थ हेल्थ टीम है वो पहनती है फिर वो अंदर जाती है और फिर वो इनको मैनेज करती है ड्रग्स देती है या इनको आइसोलेट कर देती है अभी रिसेंटली टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी में इन्होंने स्क्रब टाइफस वैक्सीन बनाई है अभी कितनी ये डेवलपमेंट हुई है इसकी या कितना इफेक्टिव है ये कहना बहुत मुश्किल है अगर आप इतना समझ लेते हैं जो मैंने शुरू से आखिर तक बड़ी मेहनत करके ये आपको बताया तो बड़ी मेहनत करनी पड़ी ऑलमोस्ट आई हैव टेकन अबाउट टेन टेन ट्वेल्व आवर्स टू मेक दिस प्रेजेंटेशन तो आपके फ़ायदेमंद है सूदमंद हो जाए लेकिन इसको याद रखना बहुत ज़रूरी है अगर कोई भी एग्जामिनेशन दे रहे हैं यहाँ तो ये बीमारी ही नहीं होती जो फॉर्नर एग्जामिनर्स हैं अगर यहाँ पाकिस्तान में आते हैं वो भी डिफरेंशियल डायग्नोसिस में डाल देंगे उनको तो नहीं पता होती या नहीं होती वो तो डालेंगे और अगर आप बाहर जाके इम्तहान दे रहे हैं अगर हम आप सी दे रहे हैं या यू एस एम दे रहे हैं तो आपको इसके बारे में मालूम होना चाहिए कि वहाँ तो ये डिसीज होती है अब फेल क्यों होते हैं लोग इसलिए फेल होते हैं कि ये चीज़ें छोड़ देते हैं वो छोड़ इसलिए देते हैं या उन्होंने देखी नहीं तो फिर वो क्या करेंगे क्या रटा मारें इसका आपस में डिस्कशन करें इस वीडियो शो को बार बार देखें एक दफ़ा दो दफ़ा देखें तो अभी तक जो है ना मैं समझता हूँ कि 35 मिनट्स का ये प्रेजेंटेशन है जो मैंने की है लोग इसे 10 मिनट में निपटा देते हैं जो भी पढ़ाने के लिए आएगा वो दस मिनट का शो करेगा स्लाइड शो करेगा और चला जाएगा 
मुझे देखेगा भी नहीं कि कोई क्वेश्चन करने वाला है भी या नहीं मुझे भी नहीं देखा उसे भी बताया कि वो जरा घर जब जाएगा अपने रूम में तो फिर भूल जाएगा वो कि वो ये केस होते ही नहीं है जब ना डील ही नहीं करते आप इसको आपको करना पड़ेगा तो मम्मा आ लें ना लड़ वाला उम्मीद है कि ये डिस्कशन आपके लिए फ्रूटफुल होगा असलकम वरहि वर्का